Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to send WhatsApp messages to your newly created MailChimp subscriber. So imagine this, a new subscriber called as John has been added to your MailChimp contact list. So you have John's email address, the WhatsApp number and all those details. So you want to thank John on WhatsApp. So here you have two choices. The first choice is you copy all the details from MailChimp, sort it out, compose a message and send it on WhatsApp. The problem with this method is this is actually very repetitive. I mean every time a new subscriber is added in MailChimp, you have to compose a message and manually send it on WhatsApp. So I would suggest that you bring in some automation. So here, when a new subscriber is added in MailChimp, it will automatically send a message on WhatsApp. So in this video, we will be using Pabli Connect to integrate MailChimp and WhatsApp. The best part of using Pabli Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. pabli.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Here hover on products and here you will find the option called as connect. Click on connect. And then just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also create your own free account in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing that Pabli Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So you just have to clone the template of its workflow, which is available in the description box. Once you clone the template, you will get immediate access to this amazing workflow in your account. Okay, so scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button, create workflow, click this, a dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as MailChimp to WhatsApp. MailChimp to WhatsApp. And then just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as MailChimp? Because we want to send the data from MailChimp. So now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new subscriber? Okay, so new subscriber is a trigger event. So your obvious question is, what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question, if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new subscriber is made, then what action should be taken by the system? Now in case, if you want more triggers of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the for the specific trigger that you want to build. Okay, so basically the gist of the process is we are just trying to integrate MailChimp to Pabli Connect. So let me take you to MailChimp. So this is my MailChimp account. So to begin the actual integration, let me take you to the audience dashboard. Okay, so this is my audience dashboard. Here you will find at the right side manage audience. Click this. Okay, so a drop down emerges. Here you will find the option called as settings. Click on settings. Okay, so this is the settings page. Scroll down and here you will find the option called as webhooks. Click this. Okay, so basically we are going to create a new webhook. That is why just click on this button, create new webhook. Okay, so now we are going to create a new webhook. So basically what's the idea behind webhook? So now it is asking a question actually, what types of updates should we send? So basically it is asking when this happens, then on which event it should be sending the data. So for example, it is asking when a subscriber is made, when a unsubscribes happen, when a profile is updated, when an address is cleaned. So basically we only want to send the data when a subscribe happens. So I'm just unchecking all of this. It's not needed. Okay. Now only send updates when a change is made. I'm keeping by a subscriber, by an account admin. Okay. So in both cases, I'm keeping it as checked. Okay. So basically now we have to add the callback URL. So to get the callback URL, let's go to Pabli Connect and copy this. This is the webhook URL or the callback URL you want. Copy this and simply paste it here. Okay, so we have entered our callback URL. So let's check whether we have entered the correct URL. Yes, we have entered the correct URL. Okay, so let me just click on save. Okay, so as you can see, the webhook has been created. So the basically the point is we have integrated MailChimp to Pabli Connect. Now, since Pabli Connect is integrated with MailChimp, anytime a new contact or a new subscriber is added in MailChimp, Pabli Connect has to capture the data. So as to ensure that Pabli Connect captures this data, let me go to Pabli Connect and let me just click on this button, capture webhook response, click this. 
Okay, so it is showing it is waiting for the data. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going back to MailChimp. Okay, and I'm just going to go to all contacts. Okay, so now I'm going to add a contact. Click on add contact, add a subscriber. Okay, so now we are going to fill in some details. So these are the details of the uh, contact. So this is a newly created contact. So the first name is uh, Aaroni. Okay, and uh, this is the last name. And of course, this is the address. I've basically autofilled all of this. And this is the phone number. Okay, so I'm uh, putting in the country code also. Okay, so this is the phone number of this guy. Okay, so yes, this person gave me permission to email them. So let me just click on subscribe. Okay, so a new contact called as Aaron Manuel 199134 at the rate gmail.com has been added to your audience. Excellent. So since Public Connect is integrated with MailChimp, let's have a look whether it has captured this data or not. Okay, yes, the data has been captured. So the first name is Aaroni, the last name is Manually. Okay, and this is the address line one, address line two, the city is Bhopal, this is the state, this is the zip code, and this is the phone number. Excellent. So now basically we have to send a warm welcoming uh, message on WhatsApp to this particular number. Now to do that, all you have to do is just click on this plus button. Okay, so when you click on this plus button, another window opens up. This is called as the action window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as chat API? Okay, so we will be using chat API to send the WhatsApp message. Okay, so now in the action event, how about we make it as send message. Now there are many more action events like create groups and files and links and location and so on. All of them are a bunch of action events. Now just like the triggers, if you have uh, trouble finding a new action event, you can contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com to custom build an action event for you. But at present, I just want to send a message when uh, I just want to send a message via WhatsApp. Okay, so just click on connect with chat API. In the new credentials, uh, we have to fill in the API URL as well as the token. So to get the API URL as well as the token, let me go to uh, chat API. So this is my chat API account. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to copy this. Okay, so this is your API URL. Copy this and simply paste it here. Okay, so now coming to the part called as the token. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just copying this part. Okay, copying this and pasting it here. Okay, so we have entered the API URL, we have also entered the token. So let me just click on save. Okay, so when you click on save, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of uh, these blanks is very simple. We are going to construct a message from the data that we have received from MailChimp via Public Connect. So before we start mapping in the detail, let me tell you something. Public Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with us. Okay, so for example, in the contact, we don't have to fill in, in any data. This is because we are actually sending to an individual person. So we are leaving it as blank. Now coming to the phone number, let me just introduce you to this button. This is called as the mapping button. When we click this, you will find all the data that we have received from MailChimp. So basically we are going to map in the phone number. So this is the phone number that we want to map. So we have mapped it. Now coming to the message. So we will just type something like that. Hey and we will just type in the name. So this is the name that we have received. Okay. So, and this is the last name. Hey, first name Aroni, last name Manuel. Okay. Um, thanks for being a subscriber in MailChimp. In MailChimp. Okay. You will be getting regular emails from us at this email address. And we are just going to map in the email address. Okay, so this is the email address. Where is our email address? Yeah, this one. Okay, hey, thanks for being for being a subscriber in MailChimp. You will get you will be getting regular emails from us at this email address excellent so when i just click on save and send test request it will send this data to whatsapp okay so let me just click on save and send test request okay so the api response is showing the message has been sent so let's have a look okay so this is the message hey uh, aaron manually thanks for being a subscriber in mailchimp you will be getting regular emails from us at this email address and this is the email address excellent so the presence of uh, this uh, message in WhatsApp shows that we have successfully integrated MailChimp and WhatsApp with help of Public Connect. So how about we double check if our integration is working fine or not. But before we do that, let me just uh, minimize this action window. 
okay and let me just uh, minimize this trigger window so here i'm going to explain the whole process in a nutshell so first you integrated mailchimp to public connect and then you have integrated public connect to chat apis as to send the message via whatsapp so now there is a perfect flow of data between mailchimp and chat api so let me just uh, add one more uh, subscriber so let me just go to add contact add a subscriber okay so this time we are going with uh, this guy tom cruise one two three four make some changes okay so tommy cruise h okay so these are the details and uh, this is the phone number okay so we have entered the phone number okay so this gave this guy gave me permission let me just click on save okay so this guy called us tom cruise one two three four six seven at the gmail.com has been added to my audience so let's have a look did this guy got the whatsapp message okay so this is the message that this guy has received excellent so our integration is working absolutely fine this means anytime a new subscriber is added into your mailchimp audience list it will be reflected as a message on the subscribers whatsapp not just these two apps you can integrate up plenty of applications using pabli connect if you have any queries contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.